I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That makes me fucking happy what you just said. That brings joy to my life right there. Why? Because I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. You talk about that you were kind of, you know, lonely by yourself. I was the same way. And that used to hurt me growing up. Now I fucking thrive in that shit. That's the only place to be. Let me use Hell Week. This, this is a perfect example. Hell Week's 130 hours. And 130 hours is a lot of seconds. A lot of seconds. And if you lose, let's say you win every second but one. You lost. It only takes one second for you to lose the whole thing. So the one second decision is just that. You're in a situation where life is sucking. Let's say you're in extreme cold water and your life is flashing before your eyes. Every time that wave goes over your head, your thought process is, I gotta get the fuck out of this water. And you're in hell week. And you're hour one of 130 hours. It's all fun and games, okay? Because at the beginning of hell week, the guns are going off. It's like a pep rally. So you're hyped up and your boys are linked arms and you're getting sprayed and it's like a pep rally. The instructors are yelling at you, bombs are going off, concussion grenades, blanks from N60s. Yeah, hoo ya yeah, 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 mother yeah. But then what they do is they shut that shit off. They shut it off, all that hoo ya all that hype gets real quiet. And they march you out to that surf zone for something called surf torture. And it's that water, that Pacific Ocean is cold as So no more pep rally, you're now in your head, you're linked arms with, you know, your brothers beside you, you don't know if they could be there long or not, you don't care, you think about yourself. You lay back and that first wave hits you. Your mind goes straight from hour two all the way to hour 130. You can't process five days this year. You're now in a, you're, you're now in a, you like, I gotta get out of here. You're in fight or flight. It's cold, I can't be cold this long. And then this is where that one second decision comes in. You forgot every reason why you wanted to be there. You don't care about seals. You don't care about any of this. You don't care about fighting for your country. You don't care about that gaudy gold trident that they put on your chest. You don't care about any of that no more. All you wanna do is go back home. You want the warmth, you may want something to eat, you want your girl to hold you. All those things of comfort are there in that one second. And this is where people lose. So what I do in that one second, because we all think about quitting, it's hard. But what you have to do in that one second is hard to process information during pain. Because that pain takes over and you can't think rationally. You're thinking about fight or flight, save yourself. That's not a rational thought. It's not a thought that's gonna get you through hard times. Most people fail that one second. So what happens, what I do in that one second, it's, and there's a bigger process to all this, but in that one second, I physically stayed in that water. Because if I get out of the water, I quit. So I physically stay in the water, but mentally, I'm on the beach with the instructors. And the instructors, it's cold outside, so they got these parkas on. They got their cup of joe. And they're warm because they've already been through it. So now it's your turn to go through it. So mainly I get back with them. I'm still in the water physically, but mainly I'm back with them. I'm chilling. I got my parka on. And now I'm thinking logically because I'm warm now. Mentally, I'm warm. I've taken that one second. Let's not quit yet, God, because let's think about your options. Where are you going to end up if you quit this where are you going to go? What are you going to say to yourself? Because you know you're going to get warm. 
the second you get out of this water, you could take a shower and you could be warm. And you could be, and in five days, you could be out. So I start thinking logically. I calm my brain down because your brain just wants to get the fuck out. Ring the bell, push your helmet down, get warm, and then you're really fucked. And these are the things you have to think about the one second decision. So that's what that's all about. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here. And I'm going to have a bunch of these one seconds through this 130 hour journey. And I have to learn to control these because if I fail one of these one seconds, I will not be a SEAL. I will not be a doctor. I will not be a lawyer. I will not be whatever the fuck it is. So that's how important that one second decision is. It's all about your mind takes control of you. You have to say, fuck you. I run this motherfucker. And that's what that's all about. And most people fail those one seconds. And then that one second leads to 20 years, 30 years, 40 years of fuck. I have people who have been through training with me, ranger school, SEAL training, Air Force training, and I get calls from them today, and they have great lives. And all they talk about is how they failed in that one moment. And they can't even, great, they can't even enjoy their life now because they're now warm. They're now warm. There's no more suffering. There's no more suffering for me either. And we're in the same boat now. But you're suffering. And I, so we're not suffering, but you're thinking about what you could have been. I am exactly what I should have been. And that's where people start to lose it. Because now I, I realize that in that one second. I go through all that. I know how it's going to feel because I failed so many times before. Failure is the ultimate thing, man. I failed so many times before. That's why I don't look at failure anymore as failure. I look at it as my first, second, and third attempt. People think that my knees are bad from a lot of running, and they're wrong. I'm, I, I wasn't born healthy. I wasn't born with some great body alignment, some great, you know, I have sickle cell. I have all kind of shit. I have all kind of health issues, you know, all kind of, I'm, I'm fucked up. So I had a choice to make. And the choice was, you know, growing up, you know, okay, this hurts, that hurts. We can just sit down and do nothing. Or we can see how far we can push the human body. So on that journey, as I started getting more and more into my mind and start realizing that while what I'm capable of doing, my mind got stronger. So the, so the pain in my knees, while it sucked, I've been doing it for so long. It was like, it became my new norm. Like, okay, my knees hurt, fuck it. Stop, you know, I, and, I, and I call it like, um, stop feeling sorry for yourself, but you sometimes have to ignore your feelings. For instance, let's say you have no races. Let's say you have no classes, no nothing. You have, there's no purpose in your life. You know, people need to have purpose to get up. They need purpose to perform. You need to get to a point in your life where there's nothing on the docket. There is no 5K, there's no, there's no um, I'm gonna get into school to be this or that, and still perform to the highest level. Because what people don't get is one day that thing's going to come up. And if you're not constantly performing without purpose, you're not going to be ready when the time comes. It's this magical thing, purpose, that we're all looking for. But what's funny about it all is that we need these things to perform. But we don't take a second to realize the purpose is always there. The purpose never leaves us because the very purpose is you. You are always the purpose. There may be another purpose, like being a SEAL or going to college or whatever, but the main purpose in life is you. So if you wake up in the morning and you don't want to do something, you don't care enough about yourself. And that's what you need to really research is, man, why am I not doing this for myself? Because that is, that is the number one purpose in life, is to better oneself. So that's the only purpose I fucking need. So the reason I get up every day, even though there's no race or there's no school, or there's nothing in front of me, is because I have pride in myself.